Hi, I'm Ian. Thanks for tuning in to another video episode on ForgottenWeapons.com. We have today a couple of uh, early semi-automatic pistols. The 1890s and the, the first decade of the 1900s were really the heyday of automatic pistol invention and manufacture. There were a lot of new ideas floating around. Uh, the first really practical automatic pistols were developed during this time. We have three of them here. Uh, to take a look at, just do some an overview and some comparisons. We have a uh, Bergman model 1910-21, we have a C96 broom handle Mauser, and we have an Astra 900, which is to some extent a copy of the Mauser. These pistols were first designed in the 1890s. The first version of the Bergman here was uh, designed in 1894. The Mauser uh, in 1896. These guns are a bit clunky by today's standards. They hadn't really developed or figured out the best ways to do automatic pistols, but these were the, the front runners of their day. All three of these particular guns are uh, recoil operated mechanisms. They all have a, uh, a, a bolt carrier or slide that actually recoils slightly. The recoil action unlocks the bolt and allows inertia to do the rest of the work. Same type of mechanism on the Mauser. You can see the whole upper assembly slides back a little under a quarter of an inch. There were a number of calibers used during this time. There wasn't a, a standard handgun cartridge hadn't been developed yet or hadn't been agreed upon. Uh, by general consensus. So the original Mausers were in uh, 30 Mauser, which is dimensionally very similar to 7.62 by 25 millimeter. Uh, the 9 millimeter Parabellum or 9 millimeter Luger cartridge, cartridge was developed during this time and that was used in some of these. The Bergman was, this particular model of Bergman was developed for the uh, 9 millimeter Bergman, which is a, a 23 millimeter long casing. Uh, a little more powerful than today's standard 9mm Luger. Uh, Bergman also developed pistols in calibers ranging from 6.5mm up to 8mm. Uh, there were 45 caliber uh, Mausers built, or 45 caliber Spanish Mausers. Uh, there was a 45 caliber version of the Bergman made for US pistol trials in the early 1900s. So at this time, early in the development of automatic pistols, the detachable magazine was not the universal standard that it is today. There were some pistols that had entirely blind magazines, like the broom handle Mauser. You can see it has a removable floor plate, but all loading is done from the top via stripper clip. There were some full auto variants of the Mauser that were built that did actually use detachable magazines, uh, 10 and 20 rounders. As you can see, the, the full auto magazines, there's no way to adapt a, an existing gun to use them. Um, however, some guns of the era, like this Bergman, did use detachable magazine standard. In this case, uh, this one held six rounds. There were some experimental longer ones, but the standard was a fairly small magazine by today's standards. Another element at the time that was popular that, that has dropped out of favor since was the use of shoulder stocks, detachable shoulder stocks with sidearms. All three of these guns could be had with shoulder stocks, or variants of them could be. You can see that there's a, a groove cut in the back of the grip, and you would have a shoulder stock with a metal tab that would slide up and lock in place here. And this allowed you to use the gun at longer ranges. The sight is rather optimistically set out to a thousand yards. And while that wasn't actually practically feasible, you could get much better accuracy shooting these with a shoulder stock at, at somewhat longer ranges. The Astra is a little bit of a, a different character. The Astra 900 was actually developed and marketed in the late 1920s. And the reason, there, there's an interesting complex reason for this, the broom handle Mauser had developed quite a bit of popularity in China during the Chinese Civil War. 
import restrictions prevented other countries from sending rifles into China, but handguns were a different matter, and you could put a shoulder stock on a broom handle Mauser and make a decently effective little carbine out of it. So the Astra company redesigned the Mauser pistol a bit. You can see that there's a, a removable side plate here. And if you look on the opposite side, you can see a whole bunch of pins. The Mauser has a, a much more complex action to it, a whole lot of interlocking components. The Spanish simplify that and use cross pins for a lot of things, accessed by this side plate. So they put this together, shoulder stock, and uh, were able to export these into China, where they were quite popular. Uh, Semi-auto versions, full-auto versions, and a couple different calibers. Um, the Astros could be had in 30 Mauser or in 9mm Luger. So these handguns are a little dated by today's standards. Actually, they're a lot dated by today's standards, but they're still a blast to shoot. We'll be doing some shooting with some of these, and we'll be posting the, the video on ForgottenWeapons.com. Check back and take a look. And while these guns were expensive and complex to manufacture, um, they show a real interesting look into the state of firearms development in the 1890s and the early 1900s. And uh, fun to take a look at. Thanks for watching.